The, the museum's been open just a week now, but it's been a really difficult year, I know. Mm. Closed uh, seven months out of 12. Indeed. It costs, I think, something like £1,300 a week to keep this place yes. going. So what are your feelings as the Museum of Bath at Work opens its doors again? Well, I have to say we're, we're very positive. We've been open a week and we uh, had to fight our way through crowds of people at the front door. Well, there were about half a dozen. And the, there is a feeling of people are coming back um, they, they like the museum, it is a, a hidden gem, we obviously not got our overseas visitors, they won't be coming back for probably months if not years, but uh, the local people, just talking to a taxi driver, they are coming back and they're going round to, to the attractions, the, the pubs, the restaurants and the galleries and the museums, of which Bath of course has more museums per head of population than any other city in Britain or maybe even Europe. So we've got a lot of competition, but we're looking forward to welcoming a lot of people. But you are a charity. I mean, you're, you're relying on yeah. the income over the, uh, the counter from people coming here and indeed the generosity of, of people who donate. I mean, just recently you've lost a, a, a major donor, haven't you? Something yeah. like a a £20,000 a year regular. Yes, yes. That's been absolutely wonderful for the last 40 odd years that that particular trust has been able to grant us that amount of money. And we've adjusted for it in a sense not always being there because it was never written in stone that that would always happen but yeah the uh, the economic climate has dictated that they can't fund charities that they would like to as they have in the past but we are extremely grateful to what they've done so yes we've now got to make up that shortfall and we've got a number of appeals out and already we're getting income from the generosity of the friends of the museum and uh, people around Bath and, and Baines. But is there a feeling that from now on you've got to be continually begging for money to keep going? Well, I'd like to think that rather than us begging, people will see the benefit of this museum, which, as I say, is one of many in Bath, but it is the one which really tells the story of the working people of Bath. It's not just the the Roman baths, international attraction of course, it's not the Georgians, but it's what people have done over the years and still do today, working behind the scenes to make everything here for the, for the tourists, the restaurants, pubs and everything else. So this tells the story of Bathonians. And uh, talking about working, we do have working exhibits here, hence the noise, just in case anybody's wondering if something's about to explode. Yes, we're, we're very hands-on here. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have many exhibitions throughout the year and uh, you know it's the best thing people can do is go on your website to, to see what's coming up yes. now you're back in business. Yeah, but sure. One that appeals to me upstairs is uh, a celebration of Bath Arts uh, mm. going back what 52 years now yes. a time when if, if you look at the posters and the pictures the city had much more of an edge to it or is that just me would you agree with that well the bath bath arts workshop i mean obviously uh, a, a bunch of people who really transformed areas of bath and took advantage of the fact that a lot of bath was in a sense available for people to do things walcott street uh, is, is one example and uh, we we had the exhibition here with uh, demonstrations of renewable energy which the Bath Arts Workshop were doing 50 years ago and we had this exhibition a couple of years ago obviously last year everything was closed and a lot of things were put on hold but by popular demand we've got that exhibition back here as part of the Bath Fringe Festival so come and have a look 
Uh, you were at, uh, at university in this city uh, a couple of years ago. A bit before <laughs> the uh, <laughs> arts would, would, workshop. Would you agree there was more of an edge years ago to Bath? Have, have we got a bit too genteel uh, in our ways? Well, I don't know about... I think Bath was more more genteel before the Bath Arts Workshop. I, I think uh, it's less, less genteel today than it, uh, than it has been. I think there's um, a lot of people still doing stuff and you only have to look around the museum to see what Bath has done over the centuries uh, and over the, the last 50 years, the last tens of years, um, that it is a very creative city. So. We're looking for the uh, the next big move from, I suppose it would be the younger generations. 